Welcome to BitMedia where we share news and topics of interest. To keep updated, subscribe to the BitMedia channel and hit the notification bell. Today we are talking about online privacy and the powerhouse technology giant, Google. So, what does Google know about me and you? Facebook has been in the news lately about privacy breaches, but what about Google? We all use Google on a daily basis, so what does Google actually know about you and who you are? Things like facial recognition, voice recognition and tracking your search data, Google has a pretty good idea of who you are, and also where you live. Yes, Google knows what you look like, what you sound like, it knows how healthy you are, it knows if you have children, your religious affiliation or beliefs, and even what you eat. How does Google collect this information? A number of Google services we use can provide Google with this information. These include Google Search, Chrome, Gmail, Photos and Google Ads. Google also knows everywhere you have ever been. Location tracking enables Google to track your movements, locations you have visited, and even what you've been doing there. It knows where you live, where you work, Places visited in your travels. How does Google track you? Google tracks the above information not only with Chrome and Search, but also with Maps, Calendar, and the very popular Waze application. Google also knows your friends, when and where you visited with them, and even has data on your conversations. Yes, it knows who you email, who with and where you meet, who you talk to, and what you talk about. This information is collected with Gmail, Maps, Google Hangouts, Waze App and Google Calendar. Google also knows what you like and dislike. It knows your favorite movie, the food you eat, your book preferences, the video you watched and important to advertisers, the stores, restaurants, etc. that you frequent. It collects this information with the usual suspects Chrome and Search, Google News, Books, Shopping and YouTube. Google saves your whole online history. It has a record of every website you have ever visited, your Chrome extensions and apps, your open tabs, your autofill data, and yes, all of your passwords. So, what can you do to stop Google tracking you? There are a few things you can do, but if you use Google, none of these are foolproof. Here are a few steps you should take. 1. Use a virtual private network or even better the Tor browser. 2. Adjust your privacy settings. 3. Use a different browser for search. 4. Use another email service. 5. Delete your Google accounts. 6. Turn off location monitoring. However, none of these are convenient, and you have no guarantee that other providers are not tracking you as well. So what do we do? Do we accept that technology giants, like Google and Facebook, track us or do we go off the grid? What are your thoughts on this issue? Please add your comments below. P.S. Be aware that this blog might be monitored by Google and Facebook. Thank you for listening. To keep updated, subscribe to the BitMedia channel and hit the notification bell. Until next time.